Yep, you betcha. Another one from my AC Milan save that I basically am doing simply because I want to see how he turns out in this save versus how he's turning out in my AC Milan save. Yasser Espria I picked up from Watford for not too much money. Uh, unfortunately, he has not grown well in my save, so I really, like I said, want to see how he grows here. Let's take a look. So starting out numbers, he is not too bad. Rated at 6.8 to 20 million, 5K a week uh, at 18 years old. I don't remember how much I picked him up for, but it wasn't too much. However, the problem I had with him in my Milan save is as I picked him up, I didn't play him much because when he played, he didn't do very well. And actually his first career game with AC Milan that I had him with, yeah, he got a red card. So that did not help. But numbers wise, he is okay. A uh, bunch of 12s, 11s, 13s, no 14s or above. So, I mean, well, 14 of dribbling. So I guess I should have seen that and just, I mean, I don't, I picked him up mainly as a backup um, to Liao and he just never really performed very well. But in 10 years time, I really want to see how he's going to be. As you can see, milestone-wise, for the baseline, first international cap against Honduras, first international goal against Guatemala, both at age 18, uh, first senior club goal for this one. But overall, he seems like a very somewhat decent average 18-year-old, uh, but let's see how he is in 10 years. From Watford, you can see he actually moved to Hertha Berlin for a couple of seasons, 158 appearances, 33 goals, and then has found his way at Bayern Munich for the last five years or so. 131 appearances, 38 goals. He is a regular starter, 91 to 274 million, 275K per week until 2035. Uh, yeah, at 29 years old, he is looking really good. Dribbling is great. Tacticals, I'm not too worried about because we know the bug. Mentals, though, anticipation of 16, composure of 17, decisions of 16, off the ball of 16, and vision of 17 are all fantastic. Uh, pace and stamina, 15 and 14, not too bad. Would really love to see him a little pacier. But at the same time, Bundesliga, 25 plus 5 appearances, 4 goals, 1 assist, 717. He is doing fairly well. Uh, unfortunately, in my AC Milan save, I probably should have sent him out on loan for that first season because he did not do very well at all. We'll have to see in the second season as well. I will have to see what happens in the, to him in the third season because he's just not growing very well whatsoever. So if you do pick him up, I highly recommend that you probably, unless you're kind of a lower team who can deal with his 13s and 11s and 12s, maybe send him out on loan for a year or two and see how he grows. Uh, get him as much game time as you can didn't happen with me and I'm probably regretting it but he moved to Watford for 2.2 million then moved to Hertha Berlin a couple seasons later for 34 million and then to Bayern Munich 28-29 season for 78 uh doing fairly well mostly in the seventh but he's very erratic so as you can see let's just start with Bayern 742 his first season probably got injured there with 14 total appearances at 696 but then picked it back up, 7.51, 7.62, and then 7.17 dropped a bunch there. So something must have happened. Let's, you know, might as well just go straight into the injuries. Moderates throughout 32 and 33. So he has a, had a bunch of game time taken away from him because of that. And then 29.30 was the bad season. So you can see he did have a major one for two months, a minor one, and then a bunch of slights. So... That major one is kind of the big one. So that's probably what took a lot of the game time away from only 14 appearances that season. But again, he's had a lot more moderates lately, which is kind of a big question mark. Uh, was he just not handled correctly by the, the medical staff? I don't know, but he starts out with slights and moderates. He had one major damage Achilles tendon for four months and then torn hamstring in 29 for two months. There's that one. But then you think, okay, you're over it. And then all of a sudden abdominal strain, moderate, uh, pulled hamstring, groin strain, pulled ankle ligaments, pulled thigh. So I guess one just moderate injury could really undo him. Uh, but if we look at his milestones now, Bundesliga champions, DP Pokal winners, Super Cup winners, Bundesliga champions, a bunch of seasonal best 11s. Uh, I mean, same as always, bought by Bayern for 54. Hertha Berlin, seasonal best 11s. Colombia, seasonal best 11. So he's done very well. The Campeonato Sudamerica Copa America winner in uh, 24 with Colombia. But uh, there you go. Promotion from Skybet Championship in 2023. Uh, overall, I mean, he's had a good career. No doubt about it. He's got some issues here and there. Probably, I mean, has grown better 
then a lot of saves we'll see. He's grown worse than others we'll see. That uh, the latest injury set is probably his biggest undoing. Biography-wise, 10 winner's medals that Esprit has collected. DFP, uh, DFL Super Cup, uh, DFP Pakal, Campeonato Sudamerica, Copa America, Bundesliga champions. And there you go. Also earned recognition from soccer community for his achievements. German Players Newcomer of the Year, Copa America Best Young Player, German Player of the Year, third place. Uh, Champions League Golden Boot, third place. Champions League Midfielder of the Season, third place. And named German Player of the Year on two occasions. So overall, he is definitely doing a lot better so far in this save than he did in my AC Milan save. I really want to see him pick it up. Uh, I've got to figure out how is the biggest problem. But for right... Actually, you know what? Let's uh, tactically... He is playing AMC 25 club. Uh, two goals, one assist, 708. AML is where I've been playing him mostly. Nine uh, played, two goals, one assist, 738. Uh, he played three on the right and then two as a striker. Uh, internationally, two, one on the left, five on the right. Played very well for both. So overall, he's looking very nicely. How many caps does he have? 90 caps, 16 goals. Um, not too bad. So let's take a look how he is in two years' time. 2035, some of those greens are still there. Uh, he's still not too bad. Technique and dribbling of 15s, agility of 15. Uh, his physicals are not too bad whatsoever. But he is 31 years old, 104 caps right now. Regular starter until 2036, so yet another contract update for another year. 118 to 354 million. Uh, but Bundesliga, 20 appearances, 6 off the bench, 8 goals, 2 assists, 721. Another down year for him. Does he have another injury? Yep, two more moderates here. Uh, pulled ankle ligaments and neck strain, two weeks and 11 days. So he is starting to turn into quite an injury prone, prone player. That is a problem. So from this Donald strain in 2031, looks like something happened and he's just barreling down the injury list. Uh, it is not looking all that great. The last couple of seasons though, 29 appearances, 26. So he is on the downward spiral. Uh, 729, 721. Uh, he, I mean, still very good. You'd still love to see that in your team doing very well as a squad player. But, you know, a lot of these things are starting to add up in 31. I don't see him lasting as long as Jamal Musiala or uh, Mikhail Mudrick. So 31, he may see up to 33, 34 and then retire. I don't know. Wish I could see, but I don't have that save right now. So, but that is it for Yasser Espria. He's had a very good career. Uh, definitely some better than him, some worse. So overall, if you can pick him up and nurture him, he could be a fantastic find. Uh, 300K per week is a lot, but what are you going to do? So anyway, that is it for me. Safi FM for the Football Manager Blog Channel and Yasser Espria saying thank you so much for watching. Take care and enjoy. Mm -hmm.